My name is Mark King and I'm a Blue Badge Tourist Guide for London. Welcome to my home city. The grounds of St Bartholomew the Great were used as one of the most important markets in the country in the Middle Ages. It was where the cloth fair took place around the time in August of St Bartholomew's Day. And it was a place where merchants would come from far and wide to trade cloth. The Hand and Shears is where the ceremony starting the market took place. The Lord Mayor would cut a piece of cloth with the shears to ceremonially show the cutting of fabric. And ever since then, civic occasions tend to open with the very important person snipping a ribbon to unveil a statue or open a new building. And that goes back to those traditions at the cloth fair here in Smithfield. The church of St Bartholomew's the Great is one of the most magnificent buildings in London. Wonderful architecture, amazing memorials to people, including one to Sir Walter Mildmay, who founded Emmanuel College, Cambridge, and also livery companies like the Butchers. Monk Rahir, founder of the Priory, founder of the hospital, was buried here in his own Priory church, here by the high altar. So pilgrims would come and worship at the tomb of Rahir. They would ask for him to intercede, to cure them of illnesses or to do good deeds. And there were miracles that were reported as a result. Smithfield has been a place of executions through history. Perhaps the most famous is for Scottish patriot William Wallace, brought here to be hung, drawn and quartered, a particularly gruesome form of putting to death. And he is still commemorated today by Scottish patriots who come and lay wreaths here in memory of their great ancestor. The hospital has been an important part of the care since the time of the medieval monks, looking after members of the community, the sick, the elderly, the pregnant, but also travellers providing hospitality, food and drink and shelter for travellers long before there were hotel chains. St Bart's joined with the Royal London and four other hospitals on the east of London to provide a network of state-of-the-art community services and the government has invested over one and a half billion pounds to produce a state-of-the-art community hospital. Smithfield Meat Market has been selling wholesale meat since medieval times. It was a horse market, a cattle market, poultry market. It was where live animals were slaughtered and butchered until the 1850s when the market moved elsewhere and the market was rebuilt in the magnificent architecture and is still active today. It's the last market in the City of London as a wholesale market. This is a picture of my grandfather who was a meat inspector. Uh, my mother was a nurse in the hospital there, so I was born in that hospital. <laughs> so this is a surprise. Now I'm going to take a photograph of my mother so I can send it to her. It's beyond the star, it's near. So 
what motivates me as a guide for London is my passion for my hometown. I was born and brought up in London, but I've lived in other great cities all around the world, and I appreciate just what an extraordinary place London is today. It's my pleasure to share it with you. I'm particularly interested in history and in multicultural modern London, in architecture and in the great stories of Parliament and of business that have driven London to become one of the world's great centres that it is today.